Now I'm gonna show you how to use this Google form. So if you didn't look at the examples um, in the previous video, you might not know where I got this answer from yet, but I'm hoping you did watch the video like I asked you to. And when I saw this very, or when I simplified this first expression, I got 10 um, and then a negative x to the second, y to the second, minus 10x squared plus eight. When I simplified it, or I keep saying simplified, uh, when I factored it. So I am going to now test to see whether or not I did it correctly by typing that response into the form. So I've got a 10. And remember how you put in exponents. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do x and that little arrow, the little caret button to the second, y raised to the second. Oh, and I'm gonna put that negative in front of there. And then minus 10x raised to the second, and then plus eight. And I'm gonna move on to the next question. And it tells me, ah, keep trying, your brain is growing. Okay, I didn't do anything wrong, I just didn't follow the directions. Those of you guys that have been using these forms for a while now know that I love that you can check yourself as you're doing it, but unfortunately, the formatting is picky to get the self-check function to work. So um, I'm looking at this part of the directions right here that I did not pay attention to. It says, if the lead coefficient is negative, factor out a negative greatest common factor. So what that means is because this was negative, I should have factored out a negative 10 instead of a positive 10. Again, we know in real life, it literally doesn't matter which one you do, but just for the self-check feature to work, that's what I need to do. So I'm gonna change my answer just a little bit to reflect the fact that now I'm gonna factor out a negative 10 instead of a positive 10. So that's gonna flip the sign of everything here inside. And so then now when I go to the next problem in a second, so then you can see if I type it all in there correctly now. Sorry guys, I was having a technical difficulty there. So now if I type it in the right format, you see that now it is gonna count it as correct, which is why it turned purple. Okay, for the second one, um, when I factored it, I got um, P plus five and P plus eight. So make sure that you type them with the smallest one first because um, otherwise it won't work either. So for example, let's say I put in P plus eight and P plus five. Even though that's technically correct, it's asking you to put in the smaller first. So make sure you do P plus five and then P plus eight, and then it'll count it as correct. And then last but not least, for the third one that we did, we got the two solutions. Um, oops negative seven over five and four over seven. So make sure you use the, you do it just like it asked you to here in the directions, where it says do the smaller one first, the larger one second with those brackets on either side. So I'm gonna do the bracket, negative seven over five, comma in between, and then four over seven and the bracket. So just pay attention and make sure that if it's telling you that it's wrong, before you go back and look at the problem, just make sure that you followed all the directions and put it in the right format.